time, it's beer time with Beer Man. Tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Well, to start out, uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, and don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be informed when I have new shows coming your way. And on your way out, please, if you don't mind, please hit that like button and share this out to your communities if you can, if you will, if you may. All right, guys. All right, so I've got one that came from uh, Main Street Market from Justin Kobe. Uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate this. Uh, you bringing this up? It was uh, about an $18 four pack that him and I split up. So it was nine dollars, about four fifty for not about four fifty for each can, um, and this is a new one. It's only a week old. It's from Block Fifteen Brewing Company. They're out of Car Corvallis, Oregon. Uh, it's a collaboration beer with uh, Block Fifteen and Great Notion Brewing. Great Notion is in Portland also, and this is just a little bit of uh, a look see at their logos and. This is the beer that I have, is the Peach Punch IPA. It's a 7% ABV. Um, this is their restaurant and brewery, and inside, of course, their conicals and their fermentation tanks and all that stuff. So, um, real cool, real cool. The, the Peach Punch, it's called Peach Punch You in the Eye. You want to feel how hard I can punch? Eye. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's an IPA with peach and apricot. Um, as I said, 7% ABV, it had no IBUs listed, and like I said, it was a week old, it's can 73020, literally just like a week old. So, Holy shit! Very fresh beer here, and I'm really looking forward to it. He really pumped it up and made it sound like it's going to be a good one, so I'm hoping, uh, you know, everything he's given me so far, Justin uh, has given me some good beers, man. So thank you for that, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, Alright, well, cool. Let's go ahead and um, bring up the the um, poor cam. I'll kind of show you the the can in my hands. Um, you can see that it has their logos there of the collaboration. And I'll read a little something here. Great Notion and Block 15 have teamed up again blending techniques and ideas from both breweries to brew this luscious fruit forward IPA. Peach Punch, which is my favorite fruit, um, was for and uh, and um, apricots as well. Peach Punch was fermented with peaches and apricots and dry hopped with massive amounts of Galaxy Mosaic hops. Very nice, very fruity. Oh yeah, sounds great. Independent artisan beer. Whoop, went too high. Yeah, oh, there we go. It's not really a great focusing camera here, so I apologize for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Get the pour going. <laughs> All right. We'll stop right there. I'm also going to right there. So, all right. So we have a very peach-colored beer. Um, the carbonation is kind of a medium see a medium of uh, fat kind of a medium and it put pushes up some faster rising bubbles uh, single bubbles at a time it's very juicy as you can see it looks like peach juice it almost looks like the color of the peach that guy punching uh, <laughs> it just it looks just like a peach um, as well as apricots apricots you know they all kind of have the same uh, color there so kind of a peach apricot juice color we got about a finger head finger head here and uh, let's go uh, let's go for the smell go to the nose oh yeah it's very very peach dominant apricot uh, also follows with it very fruity it's got a um, kind of a like a like a dankness to it it's kind of rich with a kind of a like real ripe uh, peaches, real ripe apricots. It's got that tangy kind of uh, apricot vibe thing going through the nose. It's got, it's kind of sweet. Has a subtle saltiness in this in the nose, somewhat. 
Uh, it's got a nice uh, bready malt coming through. Lacing's already forming up. Um, man, awesome. So, looking at it again, it's a hazy beer, definitely. It is New England style, or I guess you can just call it a haze, hazy IPA. Um, very, it's got, it's just like, it's lighter at the base, of course, and darker at the top. And it has a really nice, um, uh, just look to it all together. It's a very pretty beer. You, it's opaque, you can't see through it. There's, there, it, I don't even know what's going on in my light here. It's so thick, it looks pulpy and uh, unfiltered and beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead and taste this, cheers. Oh, that's thirst quenching. That's got a nice thirst quenching bite to it. It's smooth, it's got a medium carbonation on the tongue there, rolls back this crazy like tart, sweet tart kind of, <clears throat> oh you get the bready malts, you get kind of a cracker coming through, maybe a Pilsner malt or something in there, maybe some wheat, uh, flaked wheat in this, um, got kind of a cereal grain kind of taste to it, so I'm thinking more on the wheat side. Um, that. It even has like kind of a, it's got the peach, definitely is a peach forward sweetness. Um, and then it's got like this apricot tanginess. It, it's it's very, it's very good. It's it's very good cold. It, it feels, it surrounds the, coats the mouth with a nice lathering effect. Like it just kind of like takes off and fills your whole mouth with this awesome, awesome well-balanced beer. It has kind of a, it like, I didn't mean to make that noise, but it kind of, it pushes up to the top with this like pointy, fruity, almost like even like a slight, it's a lot of the same flavors are in the aromas, but it does have kind of a green fruit or a, like an unripe, like almost ripe kind of a, a peach or apricot going on in there. Um, it does have a dry kind of a, a chalky, dry kind of effect in the back of the throat. It's a medium finish, it's a medium body, pushing a full body in a way, just due to the pulpiness, the thickness of it. The, um, the mouthfeel, as I was saying, is like thirst quenching, like a nice, um, thick, lathering, thirst quenching, awesome, fruity, sweet, and even somewhat tangy, sour kind of um, niceness. Also very well balanced, like I was saying, very well balanced. Um, God, this is really delicious. Uh, they did a great job with this. Uh, well, out of five hops, I would give this uh, 4.25 hops. Not a bad beer at all. Would I get it again? Yeah, I would definitely get this again. Very worth the money, um, I think. Not not bad. Um, a little higher priced, but you know, I normally pay about three to four or five dollars for a can of 16 ounce can of beer anyway. So, not bad. I would totally buy this again. Hell yeah. This is uh, this is amongst some of the better uh, hazies I've had. Very good fruit beer, fruit IPA. Um, very nice. Uh, again, thank you, Justin, for bringing this one up and having it at your store. Uh, that would be Main Street Market. I'll put their description in the link. Um, I definitely want to give you a shout out to their to their uh, his uh, the, the market there all the guys are just the guys gals they're all super nice so uh, if you ever come to this area uh, please go there he's got a great uh, hardcore kick-ass single single uh, can kind of section has a lot of good fours coming through as well the 16s the pints so this is also in a pint just in case you're wondering I thought I'd add that in there awesome uh, yeah. all right guys take it easy cheers I'm gonna enjoy this have a good one